What's up traders? Today I want to talk about a product called Profit Trailer Feeder. Most of you watching this video are probably already familiar with Profit Trailer. Uh, it's an automated cryptocurrency trading bot. If you're not, I'll put the link to the product in the video description and you can check it out. It's a really amazing piece of software. Uh, but today we're going to talk about the, the Profit Trailer Feeder, which is a, almost essentially a bot that sits on top of the Profit Trailer. It's written in C-sharp and .NET, a pretty sweet piece of software. Um, but you may not understand like why this thing exists or what it's good for, and that's what I'm gonna try to accomplish for you today. So anybody who's traded this for any period of time starts to understand the dynamics of what exactly you're doing. Uh, in, a, in a normal market, or let's say the stock market, okay, you're trading dollars to stocks. The dollar doesn't change much. You've got the inflation and you've got, you know, the the value of that currency against other currencies, which, you know, the Forex traders, you know, they, they do that. But typically speaking, especially when comparing to crypto, the dollar is pretty stable. When you're trading crypto, most of these have a Bitcoin on-ramp. You can't trade them directly in USDTs, which are junk. You shouldn't be holding those, but let's say you are. Uh, there's not even markets for even the pegged assets to trade against these other things. So, what you're really doing is is trading Bitcoin against the alts and trying to trying to make money off that spread and and maybe maybe Bitcoin is your base pair maybe you're just using that to then throw into something else or or, or F could be your base pair it doesn't really matter but most of these trades are, are are in Bitcoin to the other alternative currency and that poses a problem because you're trading one very volatile thing into something else that's quite volatile and you're trying to make money on the spread. So if you make these bot configurations that are static, you know, sometimes they work until they don't. You know, the market changes, right? And everything goes red. So the best thing to, to look at to try to describe some of this is this chart that I've got uh, pulled up. And I chose this on purpose because I, because I knew that Monero had decent fluctuations as well as having a direct uh, uh, fiat market. Now, these are different exchanges, but we're not going to worry about the arbitrage between them. That doesn't really matter that much for the purposes of this discussion. Um, so anybody who wants to point that out, <laughs> I understand. Um, but anyway, so what we're looking at is three lines. We've got the, the pink line, which is Monero. In the pre it's, it's Monero priced in Bitcoin. The green line is Bitcoin priced in dollars. And the blue line is, oh, I'm sorry, shit. <laughs> wrong the the uh the pink line is monero in bitcoin the green line is monero in dollars and the blue line is bitcoin in dollars so if you get confused like i just did just look up here and you can see the color coding for each for each market but so what happens is is you would expect if you're if you're let's say in this case monero if monero's value didn't change as far as the trading world is concerned. Like you and I are trading it, but we both think that it's still its value hasn't changed, like what, what we think it's worth in whatever base we, we care about. Um, when if, if we think that value is flat, that means the the base that we're trading it in, the Bitcoin, if Bitcoin's value rises in dollars, then what you want to see is the Monero price probably drop in Bitcoin because Bitcoin's gotten more powerful. It's become a stronger, a stronger pairing. And so you can see that in the, in the pairing behind me. So in this case, uh, at this point in time, the price of, of Monero in dollars has gone up and the price of Bitcoin in dollars has gone up. At the same period, Monero in Bitcoin has gone down. And that, that makes sense, right? Because your, your base pairing has gone up in value uh, and therefore the other side has to drop. But what's interesting is if you look a little further on, uh, you'll see this relationship change. So pretty close, pretty close, pretty close. And then you're going to see Bitcoin start to drop a little bit and Monero reacts. So traders, traders are trying to, trying to close this gap and, and cross the streams here. Boom, right there. So Bitcoin has dropped enough that, the bit, the, that traders think the Monero value in Bitcoin has gone up. And that's, you know, that's the period where your bags start to clear. Um, so you, you know you're, you're trading this 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 oscillation of value. Um, now, how that affects 
technical analysis, you know, that's up for debate. That's probably a whole other video I'd like to do. Uh, as I've been thinking about everybody doing TA on, on stuff priced in Bitcoin, but I don't know that all the TA really takes into account that, that your base is, is so volatile. Um, I'm assuming it's possible because I'm sure they do it in Forex and Forex is no different. It's, it's still essentially two things trading against each other that both are oscillating in value. Much, much narrower bands. <laughs> I mean, guys, guys that do Forex get excited about, you know, hundreds of a percent change, okay? We, you know, we, we see 20 and 30, we're like, eh, wait a while, it'll come back, okay? Um, so anyway, so that's, that's one way that, that Profit Trailer can, can help is by helping to automate your trading ability based on parameters you set for your base pair. Uh, if you look here again, you can see that the rules completely broke, right? So you think there's this, this nice inverse relationship, boom, everything spikes at the same time downward. You, know, you lose, <laughs> everybody loses in that scenario, right? Um, it's just the way the market is. So tools like this really can help you uh, get your trading game up a little bit. Uh, it's also able to look at other things, uh, things like uh, the price of the, of the security or, or, the, or the coin. Uh, you, you may want to say, look, if it's, if it's got, uh, if it's a two Satoshi price, I don't want to trade it, right? It's too, it's too small. Uh, it's, you know, not, not something you want to be into, you know, the Doge, right? Some people may love it, make a ton of money on it. Uh, I've got that restricted in mind, but depending on the exchange that you're on, there may be lots of really, even single Satoshi coins. You probably just want to stay out of. So you can, you can dynamically adjust based on that. Uh, volume is a big one. The, the higher volume stuff tends to be the, also the highest market cap stuff, which are great to trade in because there's lots of liquidity there. Um, the, the difference is the, the, the trading band narrows. So you may want to say, hey, look, if it's, if it's in the top 10 volume or XYZ volume, uh, you can dynamically adjust your, your trading percentages to be skinnier, your trailing profits to be skinnier because you're not going to get the bigger swings that you're going to have uh, in the middle stuff, your, your, you know, your, 100 through, your 50 through 100 on the coin market cap scale, uh, which is fine. I mean, I, hey, I love, I've made really good money trading the, the top three uh, and, and accepting smaller, smaller scalps and just doing it over and over and over again instead of making a few trades and, and waiting. Uh, so that's, that's something else. The other thing that really needs to be, brought forward is that this is per coin adjustments. So as of right now with Profit Trailer, you can do things like uh, adjusting based on Bitcoin movement. But a lot of this is a blanket statement. Unless you're running multiple bots on, on your own coin groupings, uh, there's no way to, to automatically do things on a per coin basis. And that's what this tool allows you to do. Um, it is a power tool. I'm not going to lie. It's, you know, when you first open it up, you're like, What's all this stuff, right? It's you know, some of the some of the crypto bots in general can be can be crazy for someone that's new. Uh, this is advanced even for people who do this. So the second part of this video series is going to be the the how. We're going to go through each individual setting, and I'm going to tell you how how they all work, and maybe even a third one where once we've gone through all of the all of the pieces parts, we can start talking about strategies. And, and how to build winning strategies with this, with this pretty amazing product. All right, that's it for part one. We'll see you in two.